I hope you all are still with us. Who's ever with us was meant to be. Maybe there's one person. Well, I know there's one person here and one person here. Maybe there's one person there and, and you're getting some value out of this. It's still standing up with Craig Shoemaker and welcome back. Do you have something in your life that you've uh, that you've had difficulty with that like you kind of struggled with and you had to get through and you know what 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 would it be? You know, honestly, I've had a lot of things that I've had to get through. Um, you know, one of them that was a very public divorce. I had to get through that. You know, you say public divorce, like people were uh, covering. Well, what? it was very <clears throat> public, so it you know, as people had their opinions, it was all over. You know social media, uh, TMZ. What, what, a, what about it did they cover? Like like if somebody was covering my divorce, would they say, hey, they had a bad email exchange? <laughs> well, <laughs> it was, it know, was, how do they know? Well, it was like, I, you know, the, how I got left. And then, you know, it, it looked like, oh, I'm this bad person because I got left. And it's like, no, I didn't get left. I just stopped fighting for it. You know, so not that I got left. What's the left mean? What does that mean? You got left, d- left well, behind. Yeah, left, he, left behind. Yeah, moved on to somebody exactly, else. Exactly, moved whatever. on to someone else. I see. And then you know, of course, I have to see my kids in pictures with this new woman, and <laughs> yeah. you know, and that, it's that's like, a little rough. It, it it was very very yeah. rough. Okay, now very I get it. What you're talking about, rough. and when it's in public, it's enough if you see it in real life, it like just like the one on one, on one on three, or your yeah. kids say, to you, "Hey, we just met that." that. Right. But now this is like it, every. Everyone. Now, I had to see red carpets. I had to see mm. the internet. I had to see the news. I had to, I mean, it would, you know, now, it was just now, everywhere. In the meantime, are you texting or calling him and saying, hey, can you lighten up? Or can you, you know, can you? Of course. Back? You yeah. did. <laughs> of course. So you guys have the relationship where you can actually say, so now how did you get through this? This is what we're looking for tools on here. How do you get through something like that? That's like, that. that's magnified. Yes. Literally magnified. Yeah. So I can't even imagine. Yeah. So I have complete compassion and empathy for you. Mm-hmm. What do you do with that? People don't understand you're human. Right. How does a human being deal with something like that? So what I did was I prayed a lot mm-hmm. and I read a lot of self-help books. You know, I made a decision that I would not let anything defeat me. And so with that being said is I would wake up and dedicate an hour a day to God. So, you know, I felt like if I'm focused on me so much, that means I'm being selfish and I'm not really focused on God, which is shift the focus. So I shifted the focus from myself to God and I would dedicate an hour. Mm. I would pray. Mm. I would worship. Yeah. You know, I would read the Bible. I was I stayed in my word. You know, I also would write everything out that I didn't like that was going on and I would take it and burn it and like literally go in my backyard Write it out there and release it. You would write it. down, he was on the red carpet, there were my yeah, kids, yeah. and then burn it. Yeah, I would release it. Like, okay, this, this this doesn't have a hold on me. That has nothing to do wow. with me. Yeah, that's release what I was just it. saying, yeah. Yeah. They, they can't hold the keys to your prison. Right, they right. They can't put you in prison. Only you can put yourself in there, and only you can release yourself. That's it. Yes. And so that's what I did. I did a lot of that. Um, I was in church every Sunday and yeah. Wednesday, you know, um, Reading Joyce Meyer, Joel Osteen books, mm. um, T.D. Jakes, Sarah Jakes. Um, Instead of putting the power into media, which they're destructive as uh, they're, right, they're, right. that's hell. Yeah, that's like that's like demonic. Yeah, because they're only after negative. They're only after darkness. This is right. how they live. This is how they make a living. Because people love drama. They do love drama yeah. because they don't want to look at themselves. Right. They want to project it onto someone else with with an opinion. I was mm-hmm. like, well, why do I need your opinion? What's your opinion worth? It's right. not worth anything. You're not looking at yourself. You need to look at yourself first. Right. And in looking at ourselves, the best technique, I believe, what you were just saying is really look at ourselves and our relationship with a higher source or mm-hmm. God or a higher power, whatever you want to call it, look to that as the answer. Yeah. And when I am not in that space, when I'm not in that practice, the results are terrible. They are. And for everyone, by the way. The kids <laughs> feel it. Right. They feel your resentment. They feel that you haven't resolved something, your own unresolved rage and anger and stuff like that. They feel it. Yeah. You know, I'm going through it right now. Not public. You're going through it right now? Well, I mean, we're divorced, but I mean, it oh. was sudden and it was like really like... Oh, you're going through a divorce right now? Yeah. Well, I mean, through it. Okay. But always going through it. Oh, got you. When okay. you have two children, you know, yeah. when you have children, young children... You're always going through it. Right. So how can I be an example to them is what I have to contemplate always. And that's only going to happen from my relationship with, you know, prayer, meditation, mm-hmm. and goodness, kindness, all those things, even laughter. That, yes. The more I do that. To me, laughter is extremely spiritual. Yeah. I think the Bible says a, a merry heart doeth good. Yeah. 
And yeah, let's have merry hearts. You have to. And you know, everything that we go through, there's a reason behind it, you know? And I, so I would, you know, because at one point I was just like, whoa, God, like you really playing with me. Like, I, you <laughs> right, know, right. I, at one point I told him, you better show me something. I'm going to the dark side. <laughs> and like I threatened him <laughs> literally. And it's and, like, it becomes torturous. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's a putting needles in you slowly. Right. It's poking at you. You're going, another one and another one yeah. and another one. I want to write a book called God's a Slow Motherfucker. Right. You said a slow? <laughs> slow motherfucker. So. <laughs> slow. It happens slowly. And, right. And I, and I realized it's true that the greatest work that the creator does, mm-hmm. does take time. And it's it, not it's when beautiful. we want it. And it's beautiful. The Grand Canyon was not built in a day. No. But, but here's a great thing about it. Because I look back at everything that I was going through during that time. And I look at it now like, whoa, you know, like if I wouldn't have had all of that, I wouldn't be who I am today. Right. You know, I wouldn't have the tenacity that I have. I wouldn't have the courage that I have, the strength, just the wisdom that I give out to other people, you know. Exactly. And it's it's just, you know. You and get to help other people. I do. And I love helping other people. Me too. Be of service to others. Yes. yes. And that is truly a reward that we can always feel inside mm-hmm. of our souls. But as, as soon as you are of service, get out of yourself and your self obsession. We, uh, we live in a narcissistic world. That's why I said I had to take the attention off of me and focus exactly. on God. Exactly. And when I when I was doing that, I was like, okay. And then I also said to myself, it's about my children. My kids come first. So if I have to keep the peace with my ex just for the sake that I have two productive human beings that I decided to bring into this world, it's about them. Yeah. And so. At least we both were on the same page when it comes to putting our kids first. And and, and, and send them love. Yeah. I send my ex love all the yeah. time. And by the way, it's manifested in something we're really getting along well lately. Good, good. And it only, it did not happen from her listening to what I had to say. Right. <laughs> you know, it had to do with my energy that shifted. Yeah. And she thanked me yesterday. Mm-hmm. She's out of the blue. She right. just thanked me. And now we're talking. We don't have to text. We don't have to, oh, you know. just that's so good. It's so much better this yeah. way. And the answer. And your kids feel it. Oh, they absolutely do. They're, they're overjoyed when right. it's that way. Right. And, and you know, but, but there's the other problem. You don't want them to get a mixed message. But And it's sometimes when we come from a place of bitterness, even when we're praying, you're going, I pray you get everything you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> you're like trying to will your prayer into right. a direction. I pray you find yourself again. <laughs> no, I, I said worse than that. <laughs> Some of the prayers I said, it was like, How did you make the turnaround? How did you make the turnaround where you just went, I'm going to shift into this consciousness, mm-hmm. into this into this glory, into this beauty, into this natural sense of who I truly am. How did you shift over to that? What was it that inspired it? How did you do it? Mm-hmm. I think just time, you know, mm. time, uh, making a decision, uh, deciding that, you know what, I'm not going to focus on what was done to me, yeah, you know, right. and just focus on what I'm going to do moving forward. Yeah. You know, it's in just maturity, and you create a whole other atmosphere for right. everyone around you, including mostly you. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, it's, uh, inner peace is just so important. Yes, we're so is. divided in our country right now. It's everybody's right. arguing over being right. And it's all about, you know, f- projection. Everybody does so much projection. That's right. what the news is. I don't watch the news, by the way. Oh, what a good decision that was. It's great for you because my mom and dad watch the news all day. Oh, and a, it's. Yeah. Have you seen what happened? Yeah. To be careful. I'm like, oh my be god. Be careful. My mom says it all the time. Yeah, so like, she watches it. She goes, well, you don't understand. I go, I don't need to understand. Right. I don't need to understand. They're they're picking my enemy. And by yeah. the way, they choose the enemy that will they know will get you to watch the news. That, and it's the same thing every it's day. It's every every day. It's, <laughs> they they gotta pick, put it on there. Exactly. And then, by the way, there's there's wars and atrocities going on all over the world, but because they have a different skin color or they right. have a different religion, yeah, but well, that's not interesting. Right. It still goes on. Yeah. But we have to focus on who they tell us to focus on. It has to be this way. And if it's not, then you if you disagree with me, then you're wrong. And all it's about right and wrong, and it's not about that in life yeah you're not gonna have peace yeah because you're always gonna find an enemy yeah and you're focusing on the wrong thing yeah and that's just what it is what if we focus on love and peace and you know and like loving our neighbor as Mm -hmm. thyself yeah right if we actually truly listen to that we would have much more we would turn the world around exactly the world turns around that way but turn ourselves around first Mm -hmm. and you and i both have the same uh, similar situation where Mm -hmm. we had to yeah. And you have the children as a reflection, which is great. Mm-hmm. Then you have them as like a reflection to you and going, hey, not so good today. You're not looking good today. Right. You know, you better comb your hair. Right. <laughs> you know? 
<laughs> whatever it is, they are there to show us that. Right. If we choose to allow it. Right. That's the thing most people, a lot of people don't. Very stubborn and righteous. Yeah. And they just want to stay bitter and angry. Yeah, want to stay in that place. It's yeah. comfort. It's, it's, oh, it's horrible, though. Well, I'm really glad that you're not like that. Oh, my God. And that's why I called you, by the way. Okay. <laughs> I don't know you that well. Yeah. Uh, it's been a while. Yeah. But your energy's great. Mm hmm Unless you're playing poker. <laughs> it's great then, too. It's great during poker. I'm, I'm laughing and joking at the table. It's just uh, yeah, when I'm in a joking. hand, <laughs> I got to win. <laughs> She's got the Jezebel spirit in there, baby. <laughs> well, Jezebel, I thought Jezebel was a hoe. I'm not a hoe. I'm just trying to win a poker hand. <laughs> Well, you had some hoe like tendencies. I watched you take some people down. You know, <laughs> you can, you're just like you're going to make your money. I mean, what's we have the to most, make our what, money. What's the most you ever made at a poker poker tournament? The most poker, I've ever a made. Poker night. Oh, okay, it was like forty three grand. I um, I actually what it the, was. <laughs> what? No, I I'm really good. Now, do you come from? I come from poverty, right? Right. Like, you know, do you come from poverty at all? I wouldn't say poverty, but very humble beginnings. Okay, very. Yeah, very, like, very like humble. Like, what was your dinner table? Like, what did you have at the dinner table? Like, our so, our food was, like, lima beans out of a can, right. chip beef on toast. They called it shit on the shingle. Okay. You know, those are the type of things, which is literally like eating the ocean. It was so salty. Oh, wow. <laughs> but it, it was, like, really, like, you know, poor people food. Okay. Did you have poor people food? No, I didn't. You I didn't have shit on a shingle. What is it called? <laughs> wow, chip beef on toast. That's a staple. No, I didn't. I mean, we would have like meatloaf and yeah, meatloaf. Um, That's another staple. Yeah. I won't eat. I won't eat it today. I won't eat poor I people like food. I like meatloaf. Meatloaf is good. Yeah, but I, I when, anyway, the perspective I have coming right. from that mentality. You okay. say forty three grand. I don't know if you've ever done this. You go. I would spend that on blah, 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 blah. You right. know what I mean? That's what you always think. It's 43 grand. That could have gone to da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah. I just, I mean, I, I won 43 grand I, oh, I, at, at Brad Garrett. Actually, it was his poker tournament at MGM in Vegas. Really? Yeah. And I walked in there and I told him, I said, Brad, I'm going to win this whole thing. And you won the whole thing. And I won the whole thing. And you were unbelievable. Yeah. Well, I'm a winner today from having you on. How fast did that go, by the way? Yeah. Time's Super up fast. already. Right. Well, listen, this was a real blessing for me. Let's me do too. it. Again. Let's do it again. I would love to because this went too fast. Okay, but that we have a, such a society that they're just scrolling all the time. So mm -hmm. hopefully they stopped on us. Yeah, they will. <laughs> they stopped on us. Pause. You, you pick a good clip and just throw take, it out there. Yeah, take a pause and just yeah. listen to reflections and listen to things that might be of value to you. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Tori Hart, how do we find you on Instagram? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, Tori Hart, T-O-R-R-E-I-H-A-R-T. H-A-R-T. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. But you also have a H-E-A-R-T. -E I have a big heart. You have a yes. big heart. I really appreciate you <laughs> that, taking your time to be here with me today. This is beautiful information you gave us and beautiful inspiration you gave us, and I really appreciate being here. Still standing up with Craig Shoemaker. Tori Hart was our special guest today. Make sure you pass the word around because we are about you. We're about helping yeah. others, mm -hmm. being of service to others. Yep. So maybe you can get out of some little jam that you're in. We're all, all getting jams here. It's about life's turnaround. Still standing up with Craig Shoemaker. Thanks for tuning in.